This time on Weekend Rental, we played Night Slashers X, a beat 'em up game. Uh, it is on PC because it is an open Beats of Rage fan remake of a Data East classic beat 'em up game. Um, so many layers to this thing. It came to us from developer Bonus JZ. <laughs> it was found on the Chrono, Chrono Crash forums uh, at chronocrash.com. Released originally 2012, uh, but this guy's been trugging along and uh, had a re release in 2021 that added widescreen support and Ash from Evil Dead um, and four player. Well, I guess the original game had four player. But let's get into an overview of what the game is. It is a beat em up in the 90s sense. You walk left or right, always right actually, now that I think of it. Uh, you punch things, you pick, blow up items to get items. And um, yeah, you've got your standard jab, jab, jab combo attack. You've got a special attack with a meter. This game adds in some different things like a uh, counter slash parry system. Um, and of course, the, the, the guest characters that weren't in the original game. I think there's three guest characters. We're playing it because it's October. It's spoopy. You're fighting zombies. There's some vampires, I guess mutants, uh, weird. Kaiju? No, not Kaiju. Um, what do you call the Japanese demons? Help me out, someone. Yo uh, yo yokai. yokai. There's some yokai. Yeah, yokai. I think that's what the dick boss is. It's a yokai. Uh, maybe. Ooh. So, that's why we're playing it. So let's talk about some game mechanics, how it plays, how it feels. Um, yeah, how do people feel about how this game handled? If you've played a beat-em-up before, how does this compare? I think the planes are kind of fucked up, to be honest. The y-axis is weird. Yeah, I feel like things don't quite line up. That's kind of my main beef with this <laughs> with this game. Um, I just kind of feel like the it, 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 it's like attempting to be deep, but in order to be deep, I feel like the controls have to be tighter. Yeah, I, think, so. yeah. I think that's fair. Like fighting a like the drone and like a, a basic zombie enemy, but then when it had to be technical, it sort of yeah, it, it didn't hold up. Yeah, I, I don't know how much of that was from the original game or what they were trying to kind of just cram into this this fan version. Um, but yeah, it definitely didn't doesn't feel super super slick. But uh, yeah, I just like you know punch zombies heads off. Yeah, yeah, it's charming. For I sure. think it's yeah, it's not game breaking in the misalignment but I, I definitely felt what you meant like it's kind of hard to be pres not precise but like make sure you're hitting the right guy um, but it's it's fast and punchy once you're hitting somebody I think that's good it's got a like kind of goofy juggle system where you can keep stringing guys along and hit them off the ground get some bounds you could probably keep juggling somebody infinitely if you wanted to um, I don't know why you would but yeah, I hear what you're saying. Um, also, the the parry system is cool and you can pull it off, but I don't think it works against every move and I'm not really sure how you would tell which things you can parry and which you couldn't. Um, so I, I love the idea of that. I just don't know if this is like the best execution of it. Still like that it's there. You just get hit, like you parry, you try to block it and then you just take that damage. The that's game how, is all about learning. Work, right? Yeah, I did. Uh, one one game breaking thing for me was the uh, pile ups of dead bodies. That yeah, just you would can't not see go items. Away. <laughs> it would go away. You couldn't pick up your delicious ham or your lovely gold bar that you just deserved, or you know, any of the other things. They just would not get rid of the of the dead bodies. That was that was a bonus to me. I think it looked cool as hell. <laughs> It definitely they looked cool. Realism. <laughs> Made it realistic. Dead bodies don't disappear once you kill them. They don't flash away. That's true. Yeah, I the feel gore, like... The gore was nice. The, the gore was nice. I feel like the extra mode was a little better about it, maybe? Um, in that maybe there weren't as many mooks or goons that threw at you before bosses came. Um, so the screen didn't seem to get quite as crowded in that new mode. Uh, that wasn't finished, of course, but... Yeah, that was definitely a problem for me too. Just well, and also four players with all these corpses on the screen, you just start to look at it and you're like, it's hard to sort out what all's going on. 
Yeah, I think the elevator level was kind of the uh, peak experience for that. Just really not able to tell who's who, what's going on, what's where the items are. I remember one time where I was dying, had low health, and I could see the steam coming off the curry, but I couldn't line myself with it because the corpse were in the way. <laughs> yeah, so maybe the items should have taken priority over corpses. If they like stack that top uh, or something like that. If they wanted to leave the corpses, you know, that's a must. Um, you know, maybe you could work it out so that the items are always visible. Uh, the character's really cool. Yeah, yeah pretty I like cool. Oh, go on. I was they... just gonna say, I like the art. Mm. Yeah, the gore is up. Up there. Yeah, I can't, I can't think of any other uh, games where you kill somebody and their eyeball pops out and looks screen. At least from this period. Or their head just flies off, or their entire body turns into a melted wax puddle <laughs> of bones. Yeah, I'll say that. I feel like all of the enemies, I mean, we were making pretty solid, you know, riffs about it, pretty much every single one of them. I, I, I particularly like the zombie with no arms, but still wearing like a business suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yeah. sprite work is, is quite good. I mean, it's, it's, it's way, it's extremely detailed for how gross it is at the same time, which I really appreciate. It's super, it looks awesome. Some of the uh, some of the enemies had some good moves too, like the used car salesman zombie. He uh, you know he could come up high, some rolling on the ground a couple of times like a steamroller. Uh, yeah, he was sort of terrifying. Like he was terrifying. <laughs> he could get you. He was one of the only ones who could get you. He got us. He got he got me a few times. Those high interest rate loans <laughs> ripped me off. Your warranties. Big dick back. Dick back uh, boss is amazing. <laughs> Got a lot of good stuff going on. Yeah. Extendable head. Exploding <laughs> bombs. Yeah, the boss <laughs> designs, um, they were varied. Some were not great. Some were amazing. Um, but, you know, even the generic Frank, uh, Frankenstein's monster. That's Frankenstein. Um, Fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, I thought it was really cool. Uh, he did. He was a mid boss, of course, not a stage end boss. But um, yeah, nothing really top of the dick back monster. I thought it's, it's a pretty singular design there. That's the coolest one, yeah, really. What about the, the playable characters? I mean, uh, how about their move sets and how they played? Did you get to try a I couple? Mean, a lot of flavor on these characters. Yeah, they're all cool. Yeah. All variety. But something I noticed was like the four characters we played at like straight up could not pick out weapons and that's like half the cast now yeah so yeah, in the, in the basic game only the martial arts uh well what was her name not suha which which woman the woman that had the martial the arts one that works at a video rental store <laughs> oh, um, two words yeah. yeah, yeah. She in the base game cannot pick up weapons, but all the add-on characters can't pick up weapons. Would have been cool if like one of them could. Ash. All, Ash can't. He has a shotgun and a like chainsaw. I don't know how he's gonna hold a weapon. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's at least rationalized. Um, <laughs> the wrestler, he could throw some grenades or something. Come he could on. Pick up a sword or something like Conan. Yeah. That's yeah. Sick. Uh, but I thought the, the characters all played pretty distinctly and had some sick moves. Um, I definitely like the main character guy, Jake, or Jack, depending on which screen I was looking at. He had kind of like your Shoto uppercut. He had a cool backbreaker move and rapid fist punch. Um, but yeah, they were pretty varied. I thought for the most part they all kind of just played the same after a point but that's that's a beat em up to me and you know that's not really a knock against it and their specials really they all had such such different specials from each other it, yeah actually they? the meter ones yeah they're all quite different um like the uh -huh. the girl with the synthetic body had an ice beam attack that did a like a wide sweep in front of her and she could freeze all the things in front of her uh, Jake did the the backbreaker move. Um, what was her name? Asuka through oh. tornadoes as a projectile. So it's like a different type of move, basically. 
long range, short range. The martial arts dandy had like a blast. That yeah, would go it had like a little gun that shot a orb of electrical yeah, energy. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, I guess, I guess it, a lot of it was kind of confusing to see like what was going on and what you were doing at certain times at different characters because like there were different moves that I felt like weren't consistent so it's kind of hard to tell like what characters are actually doing unique moves. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. All right, yeah, let's just talk general game feel then. Um, so, of course, four players, it's tough to pull off when they beat them up. Uh, I think we've kind of hinted at some of the problems with it. Uh, stacks of bodies on screen, four characters on screen, um, three life bars for every boss for some reason. I think that's a glitch. Uh, but it gets chaotic. It's it's definitely chaotic by nature, but this game doesn't really help you make, it, make sense of it um, in any kind of way. Uh, but I think it's okay. I mean, that's kind of what I want with a four-player beat-em-up, honestly. But it doesn't really make it feel like a tight playing experience. So, it's a give and take there. Truly. I agree with you, uh, their filter. My, my review is literally, it's okay. It's, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's an okay game. It's worth all the free money that none of us paid for it. Uh, it doesn't glitch out all the time, constantly. It is playable. You can you can have a fun, gory, Halloween spooky time kicking uh, zombies and demons' asses with it. It's okay. All right. Well, uh, since we're in verdicts, I'm gonna go back to Neo Sense and see what he thinks. Yeah, I mean, I thought this was fun. I, I gave it a four. Uh, I wrote gore, 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 because that's what <laughs> this is. Uh, it's really fun to get four people together, and it's just spectacle. It's loud, it's colorful, and you can turn everything into paste. Sort of reminded me of Metal Slug in its, like, moment-to-moment -moment reaction without the intense polish that Metal Slug has had over its many iterations. Uh, yeah, I, I like this game a lot. I, the, I like a side-scrolling beat-em-up, and this does that perfectly well. Uh, I think that there's probably enough mechanics to, to sink your teeth into. But I'll move on to Filter. What did you think? Yeah, uh, I gave it a four as well. Uh, it's definitely raw. It's definitely rough. It's a shareware-ass piece of shareware. Um, but I, I think it's got some neat innovations over the base game, though it does make me want to play original Night Slashers and see what's different and if that handles, uh, you know, the, the chaos a little bit better. Definitely recommend it for download and play. Uh, yeah, there's some bugs, so watch out. But it's got that save system, so you don't lose too much if it crashes. Um, and, you know, I think it's still provides the raw thrills a beat-em-up needs to to be, you know, worth mashing buttons on. How about Rabdo? Rabdo, what you thinking of this one? Yeah, well, if you're like me, when it comes to beat-em-ups, you know, punching, kick, and jump just by themselves aren't quite enough. I'm always looking for combos, skills, or some kind of magic to, you know, keep the game moving. Um, I thought this one had plenty of cool mechanics like that. Um, kept me wanting to dig for more. I kind of wish I'd taken a chance to, uh, to look at the like the move list. I know each character had like a move list whenever you pause, and I wish I'd taken a look because I love digging into that kind of stuff. Um, you know, just from like playing and ma but much mashing buttons, you know, it was it was fun, and uh, you know, the difficulty was hard enough. We had plenty of plenty of full party wipes. It kept you know it kept you from getting bored. Um, and enemies, I loved. You know, they're fun and weird and. Dick back monster, you know, you've probably never seen anything like that outside of, uh, well, maybe the next FromSoft game or something. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, that's it for me. What do you think, Pants Problems? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, it's it's a fun, it's a fun beat 'em up. You know, it's a, uh, it's pretty much a, a, a ROM hack. Uh, pretty, pretty simple to me. Um, a lot of it. Honestly, plays pretty pretty confusing. I feel like they're attacking on a lot of systems that really don't make sense in practice. Um, so it turns into kind of, in my experience, a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a button masher. But that doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. I think it's I think it's 
definitely fun to waste some time on because of all the the shit that's just on screen at all times. I mean, it is pretty damn absurd, and the the gore and the detailed gore itself is fun. I mean, it, it's 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 free. Um, I remember liking the original quite a bit, um, and this one, you know, it it it's definitely worth checking out. It's it, it's stupid. It's violent. It's just it's crazy. So you know, why not? Uh, but yeah, that, that's my thoughts. Uh, what, what do you think, Momo? Yo, I like it. I like this game. Um, it's super charming. The art is really cool. I really like um, their attempt at, you know, a story. And they had, you know, cool art in the slides. And it has, like, charm in general. And it's really deep and kind of has all these combos and stuff like that and special move inputs um and, it, and like i'm down for like a super hard you know beat em up with like crazy inputs and it's super deep but in order i feel like in order for that to happen it can't have like all these jank and like bugs um but like it's a free game so anyone should absolutely download it and play it because it's cool but i feel like it would just kind of it feels like a game i would be really into but i know i would probably get frustrated at some point by all the bugs and shit like that but i like it what do you think is that it or is there another bit? yeah that's it <laughs> oh <laughs> and that's it <laughs> yeah <laughs> you stuck the landing